Hello everyone, welcome to the Softron Virtual Exhibition. I'm David, and today I'm going to take you through On The Air Video 4's new schedule. Now if you know On The Air Video and the previous scheduler, you'll see that On The Air Video 4 scheduler is completely different and much more powerful. So let's get right into the, all the new features. Okay, so I already have On The Air Video open. Let's go to Schedule, Show Schedule Window. Now, by default, On The Air Video will already have a schedule. You can always make new schedule and have multiple different schedules, but since this one's already here and is blank, we're going to use this. So looking at it, we're going to add a new event. And there's different types. There's fixed and repeating. Repeating event means you can have weekly, daily, weekdays, and weekend events. Set up that event and it's going to keep occurring. Fixed event means it's a special date and a special time. Fixed events are great if you do want to use them over a repeating event because a fixed event will supersede a repeated event. And I'll show you what that means a little bit more in depth. Starting with repeating, let's add something called the 6 p.m. show. And I want it on all the weekdays. Now right now you can see there's a red X because there's no playlists in this content. So let's add that. You can right click, add playlist. I'm gonna to go to my documents folder and I'm gonna add 6 p.m. A. We have a green check mark. Now I'm gonna add a few more so we can do right click, reveal and finder. So you can also see we can drag. So I'm gonna drag all these playlists in. And I have some commercials as well. So let me add those. Commercial A block, commercial B block, and commercial C block. Now that's a 30 minute show. Now there's different ways of doing this. You could have content that is in you know, a playlist inside of a content and playlist that is commercials and make your own to make a half hour show. Or you can have one playlist that's the entire show or you can make a folder-based playlist and add that to the schedule. So there's many different ways to achieve the same thing, but I thought this was an interesting way to try it. So let's take a look. 6 p.m., commercial A, 6 p.m. B, commercial B. Now it's important to look at how the playlists are set up. When you have an event, each playlist will roll into itself. So the 6 p.m. A, once it's finished, will go to commercial A followed by 6 p.m. B, and so on. So it'll always follow that order. Now, because there's nothing after this, when it gets to the last clip, it would stop. There would be no more video left until it hits 6 p.m. the next day. One thing you could do is set the entire event to loop. So now, once it was done, it would just keep playing that same event over and over. You can also set an individual playlist to loop. So here we can set the last one to loop. If you set the first one to loop, of course, the rest of them won't play because the first one will be set to loop. You can set randomize and shuffle. Now, the difference between randomize and shuffle is important to know. Randomize will take the same amount of clips and just change the order. Shuffle means it will stay on that playlist and keep playing it in any order. So it's important to know what's going to happen. But randomize is a very good feature. If you did have something like commercials, use randomize, and now it doesn't really matter what order they play. So this is a great way if you want to reuse the same commercials in a different order for each time in the playlist. Schedule. Okay, so I'm going to add another event. And it's going to be a repeating event. Let's say 5 p.m. show. Five. And still the same days. No playlist yet. I'm going to use the reveal and finder trick and add my one hour show to the five o'clock hour. So the problem with that event is it only lasts 55 minutes and it's supposed to fill to the hour and that's going to our six o'clock show. So in between there would be black. So let's see an easy way to fix that. I'm going to right click reveal and finder and find the billboards. Now this is just a bunch of commercials. But you see, it only lasts two minutes and nine seconds, only getting us to 57 minutes and 50 seconds. Still not enough for the hour. 
However, I can hit the loop feature. So this event will keep playing until we get to the six o'clock show. So that's a really easy way to get something playing on your screen, get something going. So if you're using this for a live event before your actual show, really easy way to set loop. And it's only for the billboards playlist that's being looped, not the entire event. Okay, let's add a fixed event. We're gonna make it for today at 8 p.m. All right, I need a playlist. Let me go here and find a playlist. Well, I was gonna do 8 p.m. show, uh, but that got deleted. So let's do an offline playlist. 8 p.m. show. So the offline playlist is great if you're making your on-the-air video playlist in third-party software or on a different machine with on-the-air video. So you can just wait for that playlist. So I'm going to go to my documents folder and put back the 8 p.m. show. And immediately it's added. It's important to know how a fixed event and a repeated event will work. If a fixed and repeating event are set to be at the same time, the fixed event will take priority. However, if it is shorter than the repeating event, make sure you have something to play afterwards because it will not automatically cut over to a repeating event. Now, this is a very easy schedule, but schedules can get very crazy because a lot of times it's not always daily. Maybe it's just Mondays. Maybe it's just certain days of the week that something will happen. Maybe it's just weekends. So we have this show filter right here so you can only see the days you care about. Maybe it's just what's happening today. Maybe it's what's happening tomorrow see we have nothing and what's happening Saturday and Sundays so you can really change this to make it work for how you need it I'm going to hit save when you enable the schedule it's going to automatically look for the right event and the right playlist to start playing from it'll use the start times and the length of the playlist to judge when it should start playing so let's add another event and say it started at one o'clock I'm going to add the one hour show to it. Now, because it's 1.30 my time and that event is at 1 o'clock and it's an hour long, when I enable it, it's going to join in the middle of this playlist. Let's hit enable. And the playlist is going. So you can see how this can make the schedule really powerful because you can make schedules and you can join it as you need. You can have multiple instances with different schedules. It's very easy to set this up. So let's add a folder-based playlist to our schedule. Now I already have a folder-based playlist that I've made. I'm gonna add it into this event. You can see we get the folder icon and the theoretical duration. If I open this up, you'll see how this playlist is built. There's another feature in the schedule we haven't gone over yet, and that is the difference column, but it has to work with the playlist. So let's take a look. We're gonna open the one hour playlist, click the ellipses, and preset duration. Now we know it's going to be one hour. Now our playlist will say the runtime and what the underrun is. And if we go back into our schedule, we reported the time difference. So the theoretical duration will take what it's planned to be because as your day changes and the show changes, you're still gonna plan for an hour, but there's gonna be differences throughout the day. So here you can see a negative value of four minutes and 19 seconds. And it does give you an error of this underrun. This is a great way to find those issues that are occurring in your schedule. So you can see that the on-the-air video schedule is very easy to set up and very easy to get going. You can get this, get up content, and get it to loop, randomize, or shuffle very easily. You can add offline playlists, offline clips. You can do quite a bit with this schedule just with a little bit of time. You can use repeated events, fixed, and all these folder-based playlists. So it's a really great way to bring it all together quickly. So there's a lot more to go over on what the schedule can do, what on the air video can do, and the rest of our products. So keep watching on the Softron Virtual Exhibition. Thank you for watching.